Well, I was just a child in the 70s, and my family lived outside the small rural town of Delhi, and we didn't have any type of cable or anything. We did have a nice color television. Um, I came along kind of later in life for my parents, so they were pretty well established in their careers. And so we had a nice color television and a beautiful um, big wooden cabinet. I remember it was like one of the main pieces of the living room. But we only got one channel for many years, which I remember was NBC. And then my parents had a cable run to the top of a very tall hill on their property and an antenna. And after that point, we started getting the three major networks, ABC, NBC, and CBS. The family shows that I looked forward to, um, you have to keep in mind that back in the 70s, we didn't have VCRs, we didn't have TiVo, we didn't have all of that stuff. And so when things were rolled out, it really was something you looked forward to. And it always added to the anticipation at our house because um, we always subscribed to TV Guide, which was a weekly publication, and it would often feature, you know, a main television attraction on the cover along with all the local listings. And it just occurred to me recently, it's springtime, and I am really wanting to see The Wizard of Oz and it occurred to me because I was thinking about um, doing this video and thinking about what television was in the 70s it occurred to me it, it I think it's kind of like an internal seasonal clock with me because they always put The Wizard of Oz on in the springtime sort of close to Easter and because we didn't have VCRs and such um, and they weren't really releasing it in the theaters. You really, really looked forward to it coming on television. So I always loved it when um, special movies like that. Um, I remember the little drummer boy at Christmas time and Rudolph, the kids specials. When you only saw them once a year, you really, really looked forward to it. Uh, I also really enjoyed Saturday morning cartoons. That was like a mainstay. Um, get up early, you know, maybe when my parents and older siblings were sleeping still, and having the couch to myself, and I adored Scooby-Doo. Um, Scooby-Doo from the 70s is like the best. Um, I vaguely, well, I don't, I kind of also remember, it wasn't one of my favorites, but Fat Albert, because Bill Cosby was one of the voices in that, so that was kind of a big deal cartoon. And I definitely, um, remember that there was a cartoon about the Jackson 5 with Michael Jackson um, as one of the characters, of course, and the voices in that. And then I also really remember um, watching TV after school. Um, I would usually get home, I'd take the school bus home, and I'd um, be one of the first ones home, and I always watched reruns um, after school for like an hour, hour and a half till my mom got home from work. And the, those shows that I really loved and remember watching were Gilligan's Island and Bewitched and The Brady Bunch. I also really remember my family loving variety shows. They were definitely something that um, got a lot of attention and hype um, in the 70s. Um, the Muppet Show was, was one that I loved and in fact my whole family really loved it because they always had major stars on every week. You know, from Gene Kelly to Elton John, there was something my mom liked and something my sisters liked and looked forward to with that show and the humor. And I also remember um, Sonny and Cher was hugely popular with my family. Um, and my teenage sisters loved the Sonny and Cher music. And um, we loved all the glamour of the variety shows, too. Um, Bob Mackey's costume designs. Um, Cher's, you know, renowned for her gowns by him. And she wore them beautifully in the 70s. And it's hard to really kind of pick one favorite television show, but... When I got really thinking about it, um, 
the one that kept coming to mind was the Carol Burnett show because I have a lot of vivid memories of that and it was on the air for like 12 years and um, she had the great costumes by Bob Mackie. She had a really talented cast that were with her every week. Um, we would just um, laugh so hard time and time again with that show. We would cry. You know, Tim Conway and Harvey Corman and Vicki Lawrence, who ended up having you know her really popular spinoff of Mama's Family. And Carol Burnett, I mean, in my mind, um, she's right up there with Lucille Ball. She was, you know, was just like a great comedian. And um, her shows were really something we look forward to. And she also had um, really big stars on her shows, too. Um, I remember seeing Ike and Tina Turner. I remember when Cher was on her show. Um, she had a lot of Hollywood stars on her show. And... So I think that's one of my favorite shows from the 70s for sure. Um, a favorite skit in the Carol Burnett show um, of mine was one that Carol did with Tim Conway and it was set in an office and he was Mr. Tudball, the boss, and she was Miss Wiggins. Um, the very distracted um, secretary and that was just hilarious and they did a lot of different scenarios with that and so that was one of my favorite skits from that show and of course who could ever forget um, the reenactment of Gone with the Wind um, and Carol Burnett having uh, the Scarlett O'Hara gown with the curtain rod across the shoulders um, that was a really funny skit.